What's up guys, I'm doing this quick video to let you know how to manually update your Sprint Galaxy S3 to the latest Jelly Bean update. Now what you want to do is you want to download the link in the description. It will take you to this page. Click the blue request download ticket at the end of the page. Go ahead and type in the code. And you'll want to go ahead and click the download link. Now, I already have this file, so I'm going to erase it. I downloaded it earlier for time's sake and then you want to go to your file explorer you want to go to your phone first go to settings go down to developer options hit ok you're going to want to make sure USB debugging is checked after that you're going to want to go ahead plug up your phone after plugging up your phone we're going to head back to the computer. You're going to locate that file that we just downloaded and you're going to drag it to your SD card. Now you can put it anywhere on your SD card but it has to be on external storage. Um, I'll put a link to the direct file uh, that way you know it is the right file. Once that is on your SD card go ahead and plug your phone. Power your phone off once your phone is completely off you're going to want to hold the volume up home and power button at the same time let it go once you see that first Samsung screen and this is going to boot you into recovery mode Now once you're here, go down to the second option using your volume down button and then it will say apply update from external storage. Go ahead and click your power button and then choose the second option. It will be that zip file that we just placed on the SD card. Go ahead and push the power button again and it will start to manually update your phone to the latest Jelly Bean update. Now this does take a while. Um, I sped it up for time's sake but um, it does take a while because the file is pretty large so don't be alarmed if you know you're waiting for a good 5-10 minutes on your phone to update slowly moving along here alright and once you see this text scrolling across your screen that means you're almost done and it says install from SD card complete now your phone will reboot Samsung screen as you can see the boot animation has changed for the Jelly Bean update and then it will continue as usual and then you will get a screen that says optimizing apps that could take a long time depending on how many apps you have and now we're back at the home screen finalizing Android update Android update successful now we're gonna go into our settings scroll down to about phone as you can see Android 4.1.1 we'll click on that and as you can see there's a little Easter egg the jelly bean so if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and I will see you guys in the next video peace